Aloha, Mad Squid here. Got a quick project. You've never seen me out here in my shop before. <laughs> it's because it's not a shop. It's a little tiny garage I'm trying to make do. Anyways, I've got here a couple projects I'm working on. I've got my yellow ribbons that I make from uh, brass, reclaimed brass. Uh, what I do is I go out to the range, the pistol range and the rifle range, and I harvest brass, spent brass casings uh, from the range. I individually check them, make sure all the primers are fired, I clean them uh, to get all the silicates out and all the extra stuff that I don't want in my foundry, my furnace, and then I melt them down and I pour them into a, a little ribbon mold that I have. It makes a nice yellow ribbon, but then I have to do a lot of filing and sanding. Uh, and then I collect all the filings and I'll pour them, and actually I'll get to this in a second, but I collect all the filings when I'm um, honing these. As you can see, um, this one here is finished. I've uh, filed it and polished it to some degree. And this one here has all these rounded edges where the metal poured over the edges of the mold. It has to be filed down and cleaned up. And so I collect all the filings while I'm doing that and I need a good place to store them. Uh, and because I'm gonna have a, a lot of filings. See, I'm, I'm making these and selling them in my Etsy store since I've been unemployed for over a year. I'm trying to find ways to make money. And I've been busy with my drone, doing drone photography and stuff like that. But I'm also doing these fun projects because last, last year I got into backyard blacksmithing. And so I need a cool place to store my filings. And that's where this bad boy comes in. This is a 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter chain gun spent casing, solid brass. Um, just got some paint on it. This came from the USS Reuben James. It was fired on, a, on an exercise. I was stationed on the Reuben James for 18 months. Um, I made two deployments aboard USS Reuben James. She's world famous. She appeared in The Hunt for Red October in the movie and in the book. Um, anyways, long story short, I've used this thing for everything from when I was a smoker from an ashtray to a pin cup more, more recently and as a paperweight. Um, and I mean, there's a lot of good brass here. I could melt this down and make all kinds of stuff with it, but I don't want to melt it down. It's special to me. I do, however, want to take this ugly green paint off, right? So that's my other project. And then this will be my uh, filing storage, my brass filing storage. I'll keep all my brass filings in this nice brass uh, polished casing when it's finished and ready. And so to strip the paint off, I went and bought some uh, paint stripper. Hopefully this will do it. I don't know, this might be enamel. I, don't, I hope it's not, but we'll see. Um, I was not a munitions guy, so I don't know what kind of paint that is. Um, and then this, I was so excited when I saw this. I've been looking for Never Dull for years. I haven't seen this since the Navy, literally. It used to come in the same can with no labels on it. Just It was just Never Dull. Um, it's a cotton kind of a, a wadding based um, polish, but it works so good. You can make any metal shine like a mirror. Oh, that smell brings back memories. Uh, I got my steel wool, my files, my wire brush. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna t break this down and turn it into a very nice polished brass, 20 millimeter brass filings storage container. <laughs> All right, why not? Okay, so real quick, it turned out pretty nice. Um, Never Dull is the most amazing thing on this planet, I'm telling you. Any Navy guy, anybody who spent time in deck division can tell you, Never Dull is the shit. This thing was painted all of drab yesterday, okay? And now it's shiny as can be, right? Anyways, I think the results speak for themselves. However, I am now a little bit concerned because if you look, it doesn't look like brass, right? So that tells me it's either steel or knowing what they use for the casings on the Sea Whiz, I'm a little concerned that it might be spent uranium, depleted uranium. So I might have to do a little uh, research. <laughs> I'll let you all know. Okay, now it occurred to me 
that I have a way to figure out for sure if that's steel. Um, although it just occurred to me on top of that first occurrence that I don't know if uranium is magnetic or not. I don't know if it's ferrous. Um, so the following test may be irrelevant. I really can't say for sure. My drawers are not as organized as they once were. There it is, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so here's how we're gonna find out from a safe distance in case it is uranium. Son of a b it's steel. I thought I was making a nice brass casing. That's steel as can be. Oh well, still looks cool.